Hey, what's going on, guys? This is a tribute video to Mike Campbell. Mike Campbell is, I should say, was, was a white Zimbabwean farmer. He owned the Mount Carmel farm, and when he took the case of Mugabe's land reform, when Mugabe illegally tried to take his property, he took it to international court. It really helped raise awareness of the injustices that a lot of white farmers in Zimbabwe faced under Mugabe. And while the case was won in international court, the Mugabe's thugs did ignore the international court ruling. They said that they did, and they went in and beat and beat the entire family up. And Mike Campbell eventually died and succumbed to his wounds. However, but this was not before the documentary and the book Mugabe and the White African was made and written. And it really talks about firsthand how it's just blatant. It was just blatant bigotry and racism on Robert Mugabe's part because the Mount Carmel farm that Mike Campbell owned, one, he took out a loan to pay for the farm. It took him 20 years to pay it back. And after he paid back the loan, just about one year after he paid back the loan, the government said, this does not belong to you anymore. And they would go in, they would terrorize the land, they would burn certain crops to the ground, they would shoot the guards. And the guards to the farm a lot of times were black Zimbabweans. The, Mike Campbell gave a lot of um, black Zimbabweans jobs that they didn't have under Mugabe. And a lot of the farmhands, since the Mount Karma farmers burned down, they've been unemployed. And have been starving because they cannot find work. And... Mike Campbell, as I said, took the case to international court and the international court in Namibia that sided with Mike Campbell and his son-in-law, Ben Freeth. And Mike Campbell believed that blacks and whites are all God's children. Um, he did not pay his employees slave wages. A lot of the employees had around four to five kids and the employees on his salary were able to feed and clothe their children. And... Mike Campbell was a devout Christian. He believed in what he was doing. He believed he needed to stand his ground. And even though he succumbed to his wounds and his farm was burned to the ground, his son-in-law, Ben Freeth, is still alive. He survived the attack. And Ben Freeth said Mike Campbell did not regret going to international court, putting his foot down, telling Mugabe no, standing up to Mugabe. So thumbs up to Mike Campbell. He is definitely a martyr, and he, and he is definitely a hero. And he needs to continue to be remembered even though Mugabe now is no longer in power in Zimbabwe. Because it was just blatant racism. Mike Campbell did not harbor any racial prejudices. He paid his farmhands a decent wage. Um, one guy, Douglas, was one of the first tractor drivers there. And he had been there with them ever since the farm opened. So I highly recommend the documentary Mugabe and the White African. You can find it on YouTube. Um, somebody published it on YouTube. Um, you can, um, and it's very informative. It goes into detail how Mugabe was a racist, or still is. He's no longer president of Zimbabwe, but he's a, a very racist black man. And that Mike Campbell, he is a white African. He had, or he was a white African. He had nowhere to go. He couldn't say he couldn't call himself British. He couldn't call himself Australian. I mean, Zimbabwe was his home. Basically, it was. So he's a white African. So. So th God bless Mike Campbell for standing up for what was right and taking the Mugabe thugs to court. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.